Richard Southern joins us to chat about some of the day's more interesting stories. And Richard, we've all heard the saying about a fish out of water, but a fish behind the wheel. That's a new one. <laughs> yeah, it actually went quite swimmingly, Erica. Ooh. Scientists, I'm not sure why, but scientists have taught a fish how to drive. Look at this goldfish go, Erica. He's driving. I wonder whose idea this was. Pretty cool, Show Right down the street. Yeah. So they, what they did, they, they put the fish <laughs> in a specially designed tank, and uh, whichever direction the fish swam, the car would move in that particular direction. The sensors reacted to the fish's movement in the water tank. And scientists say this shows the goldfish have the cognitive ability to learn a complex task like driving. Now, Erica, I'm a horrible millennial. I'm the Uber generation. I actually don't have my driver's license, and that means that goldfish actually smarter than I am. <laughs> well, maybe you can call the goldfish to come pick you up and then, yeah, drive you to can work. Can you imagine if we taught your dog Luna how to drive and Luna could pick you up from work after you finished the game tonight changer. at 11? Yeah, it would be a game changer. She wouldn't, though. She'd be like, you're on your own. You're fine. Okay. <laughs> She'd uh, be a pet smart instead. She, she would, would you up. getting all the treats. Um, speaking of driving, BMW is working on a new vehicle with a feature we've never seen before. You can push a button, the car changes color. This is actually coming, apparently. They showed this off at the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas. Look at this, the car. Wow. Yes. This is a new uh, all-electric vehicle from uh, BMW. It has a special type of paint whereby if you push a button, it changes color. It does that by uh, sending a, a, an electrical charge through the paint. Uh, depending on if it's a negative or positive charge, the car can change from white to, to dark. It also put some different lines on the outside of the car. It's just a concept right now, but BMW says it's coming. Perfect for the indecisive driver, right, Eric? You don't know what color to get. Yeah, it's true, and sometimes I get bored of colors really quickly, so I'll never get bored of that one, I guess. Keep on pushing that color change button, I guess, yeah. <laughs> and finally, many of us um, lifted a glass of champagne on New Year's Eve, but there's always those who have to take things several steps further, Richard. Yes, Erica, I think you and I would have liked this. We should have been in Dubai, I think, for New Year's because a uh, hotel in Dubai celebrated New Year's with the largest ever champagne pyramid. You know, they, people, they you know, stack the champagne glasses and you pour. Look at what they built. Wow. This thing, massive. 54,740 glasses. And they didn't fill it with baby duck, Erica. They filled it with Moet and Chad Chandal champagne, yes. the good stuff. The good stuff. I love it. Of course, it has to be Moet and Chandal. See, I pr pronounced it wrong because I can't afford that stuff, Erica. <laughs> I'm drinking the Spermanti Bambino over here. But hey, you and I should have been there. We could have lapped up any of the uh, inadvertent spills that may have taken I place. I would have volunteered. We would have both volunteered to just, you know, <laughs> fix it for them. But yeah, pretty cool. I love it. We wouldn't rem have remembered a thing about the Guinness record, but we would have had a good time doing it. <laughs> I would have been really paranoid actually about knocking it over because it's the largest <laughs> Whoopsie. one. Whoopsie. Yeah. Okay, Richard, thanks so much. We'll see you again tomorrow. See you tomorrow.